Welcome to Winter Class. Winter Class is back. Winter Class is back. We got a brand new special, the summer special for you. It's the Adidas Third Jersey Summer of 2018-19 After School Special, presented by Zima. Zima. Anyway, we got we got big news to talk about. We got third jerseys coming back we got this some season. Third jerseys. Because last year we couldn't have any third jerseys because Diaz was like, nah, too much. Yeah, they didn't want to oversaturate the market. Right. And, yeah. Right. Well, you got to think of it from a business standpoint. Business. Bus- it's all about business. It's all about the dollars. So they got to make their months. The, and, uh, you know, that's just that's just the way it is. Yeah, Adidas is, is bringing them back. Yeah, so we're, we got some leaks. We, we got, saw some buzz on the internet. Buzz. We saw some internet some buzz. Internet uh, traffic. Yes. We had some social media accounts release some images, some hot pics trending. Fresh pics. Fire emojis. <laughs> fire. <laughs> so much fire. I miss Zima. <sighs> anyway, so we have four of the jerseys revealed. We got four jerseys to talk about. There's going to be a lot more. There, there, yeah, there'll be more. I think there'll be all of the teams. Most of the teams. There's a couple that are rumored to not have any. So Montreal, Montreal probably. Detroit, most likely. Yeah, they, Ottawa's yeah. a dumpster fire right now, so they're definitely not rebranding yeah, anytime dumpster. soon. They are dumpstering. So, but, but we got we got the first four teams, and we'll bring you more as we go along. Yeah. But here in the winter class, Adidas third jersey summer of 2018-19 after school special presented by Zima, we're gonna break it down, give you the final grade. Yeah, we're gonna give you scales of how good these are. Yes, our very patented right special ranking system. Yeah. Of course, we rank with power on this show. The most yeah. power. Yeah. Because what would an internet show be without ranking without and rating numerical something? Numerical ratings and ranking systems. Right. Arbitrary. You got to uh, review them. Right. So we have to review things. So we're going to review them. Because I'm sure there's like hockey dude uh, Kevin on the side here who probably also reviewed these two. And he totally ranked them. Dude. Yeah. Kevin's totally ranking them. Right. Kevin, Kevin guy, hockey guy, Kevin, hockey guy, Kevin at ice to meet you, ice to meet you dot yahoo.net. Right. If you want to get in contact with him, he's probably got contact info over here. Yeah. Check it out. The sidebar thing. Just, just, you know, subscribe, turn on the alert button. Right. And like the video for Kevin. For not, but you don't need to do it for ours. No, it's fine. We don't <laughs> we, care. We don't expect our viewers to constantly be berated with that shit. No. Remember that one time we reviewed movies? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some people that didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> they went, you're probably right. Woo, right over there. Probably with the ice hockey tees thing too. Dude, I love ice hockey tees. We can talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a real company. That is a real company. It's a it's a legit company. Let's, yeah. So we're gonna go into what is the first jersey that uh, is coming out for this year. What do we got? So the first jersey is a little interesting because it was hinted at. Early, like even before the draft party, which yeah, is yeah. a handful of teams in the past uh, have revealed some of their alternates <clears throat> or even like their new home or road jersey or whatever. A lot of teams have used that platform. This team didn't, and <coughs> yes, <laughs> I'm not mad that they didn't because it's not huge news, but at the same time, it's it's a it's a pretty solid jersey, so I'm glad that they're bringing it back. And anyway, we're talking about Philadelphia. We're talking about the Flyers. They secretly announced their third for this season because it's not new, right? They've already worn it, and it worked in the Stadium Series from 2017. Correct. So they're just gonna wear those. Yes, and they actually did wear them. I know at least one other time, and it was against Pittsburgh. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna. So there, so Philadelphia, 
has one third jersey. They're playing another stadium series this year, so they're actually going to have four jerseys this season. They're going to have four jerseys. So there's, yeah, Pennsylvania's loaded with jerseys, man. I don't know what they're going to do. Right, because Pittsburgh is also going to get that jersey, and they're rumored to have a third jersey as well. I mean, duh, you got to give them a third jersey. Right, they're God's favorite team. So, next to Chicago. Anyway, we're going to talk about the pros and the cons, and then give them the final grade. That's right. So let's start with the pros. So we got Duh. pros. Uh, pros pro? is that the logo is good. The logo is fine. Good job. So they didn't make a stupid logo or they didn't fuck with the logo to mess it up. Man. It's, it's still Sharpie P. It's Sharpie P. It's Sharpie P still. Correct. So no deviations from what we've known for a long time. Right. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, it's black, so it's part of their color palette. Makes sense to have a black jersey when you only have three colors. Right. Orange, white, and black. Yeah. And your home, obviously, or, I'm sorry, your road is white, your home is orange. It's orange, right. So, so when you have a third jersey and you only have three colors, I think black makes sense. Black does make sense for them. So we have, th- yeah, that's good. Uh, we got... Got orange in there. I like the reverse nameplate with the orange popping yeah. off on the back. Reverse nameplate. I think one of the biggest pros of this jersey is in taking it with the bigger picture of the Pittsburgh jerseys that they played against. Right. Both of these jerseys contrast really well. Yeah, because Pittsburgh had the gold and they had the thick black in the same area that these Flyers ones do. So mm-hmm. like the striping patterns are very similar. You just had different colors and logos. So yeah. it, it looks like it was the same game. You can tell those uniforms existed from the same game. Which Correct. is cool. Correct. cool what these outdoor games are good for. And I think the, the other big pro, probably the last pro I'm gonna talk about is these jerseys, we've seen a lot of stadium series jerseys up to this point, and the overall theme seems to be big. But these jerseys do a good job, and same with Pittsburgh, of emphasizing a very reduced, very clean template as far as the jersey itself and the numerals, the logo. They don't do a whole lot with it, but just the, the solid sleeve stripes, one tail stripe, and the nameplate. It's a clean look, it's effective, and it works for a stadium series game. Those are all good. All good. But we gotta talk about some cons too. So what are some cons? Um, I would have liked to see the numerals not be black with a white outline. Mm-hmm. I think if you just had numerals be orange with a black outline or a white outline, it would look better. But even a white numeral on those in the back with an orange outline probably would have popped a little bit more than just the black. The The only other thing I would say for a stadium series, I think it works, but the biggest thing I've always wanted to see for a Flyers third jersey is a recreation of what they currently have. Not the 90s one where they actually have like a white outline oh, in yeah, between yeah. the they, shoulders. Well, they had the, the white main. shoulders with those. So there's like not a lot of orange in those jerseys. Right. There's a white right. shoulder, orange with black. Right. I want to see the current jerseys, the original jerseys, right, the original basically. pattern. But with an orange shoulder, an orange sleeve, and then the black yeah. as the main jersey. That's I've always wanted to see that. Yeah. I know you made a concept that was like one of the first jersey concepts you ever made. Yeah. That's I it looks good. Would love to see that. The the Webster Groves wings, those yeah. are their jerseys. Pretty much. They're fantastic. So but other than that, it's a solid jersey. Well, what'd you get? What's the final grade? Final grade on this is four fake Jamie Ronick mullets. Sounds good to me. That brings us to the second. Oh, people are going crazy for this. Oh, this one's huge. Uh, This one is huge. I know. This is blowing the Twitters up. It's blown up. It's blown up. It's the mighty. No, it's not. We're not talking about them yet. We're not talking talking about them yet. yet. We tricked you. Tricked you. You thought we were talking about you know who, but we're talking about 
the Phoenix, the Arizona Coyotes. Everybody's favorite Whichever team. Whichever which one you want, yeah. Either one, because it's the Phoenix Coyotes jersey. Right. But they're Arizona Coyotes. Right. So they're exciting. <laughs> yes, Arizona. 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 Revealed this jersey for the draft party. It is an Adidas version of the inaugural Kachina black jersey, which at the time was their road jersey. But now it's yeah. their home jersey. Yeah. Because that's just how it is. It's all flip flop now. Because the 90s are back. <laughs> it's... Well, it's thanks. 90s night here at Winter Class. Oh my god, let's do the Macarena. Oh shit. Drink Zima. And mm. uh, so they're basically recreating the jersey. It's pretty much one to one. We're going to talk about the pros of this new third jersey. New third. Doug, what's, what's some of your uh, some of your pros? It's nostalgic. We love it. We're suckers for it because we're twenty something. You're right. So yeah, I am twenty something. That's all we want is just more of the shit that we're used to. And this existed. This yeah, I, I totally remember this. I mean, I remember Keith Kachuk wearing this damn thing. I so, yeah, I remember. It sucked back then too. <laughs> It's not a pro. We're in the pro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I was getting ahead of this fucking thing. I just, it just, it sucks, man. It's just, I mean, it's, there's some cool parts. Okay. So that's why we got to do the pros, man. Come on. All, All right. right. Pros, pros. Okay. At least it's authentic to what it looked like. Yes. It's authentic. It's to an what authentic like, recreation. Right? It's an authentic throwback. It's not just some like make shit up and like just pretend that. It looks like an original or like derived from history somehow. I know you're it's already skipping ahead to the end. <laughs> but I know it's, just, it's not though, so it's okay. I think you know? one thing I can take away from this is the actual Kachina stripe. I think on the collar it's a bit much, but at least just on the tail stripes and the sleeves. Yeah, I like the pattern. It's a cool pattern, and I think it's. It works well enough to be a jersey tail stripe as opposed to like a super sublimated nightmare like other jerseys in right, the 90s. Right. But something like the Nordiques Fleur de Lis as that pattern works well as a tail stripe in place of an actual traditional stripe pattern. Yeah. So for what it's worth, it's it's a decent feature. I think it works well as a tail stripe without being too crazy or convoluted, whatever. I, I admire its uniqueness. Yeah. I think it could work as as a jersey without being too gimmicky. That's what I'm trying to get at. A team that has not a great history of third jerseys, the Desert Scape and then the Black Full Coyote. Oh yeah. When Where they- he's just, he's just like- Yeah. He's just there. Right, right. I guess they figured, you know, there's only like 100 fans to sell to, so they better sell all 100 fans, and they know that they're going to buy this, so that's... Yeah, they know they'll buy this one. Right. So let's talk about the cons. There's too many fucking colors, man. I know, yeah. I didn't, yeah, I didn't even start, but yeah, it's fine. There's, there's too, too many, many colors. <laughs> there's too many colors. And it's black. Like, the fucking black is, it's just like someone kicked dirt on this jersey. Like, this, it would have been fine with the, uh, the red or maroon. And then you have green, which looks like ass. And then yeah. you have purple <laughs> in the shoulder patch and on the meta jersey that the logo wears. The jersey within the jersey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The color palette they have now, I like. They yeah. That unique red. The It's brick. Brick. It's brickish, so it's like the clay shit that you find in the desert, you know? And, and the off-white is sand. And you have the sand color that ah. you see in the desert. Okay, so I think th just limiting it to those colors was a good idea. Yes, and actually, so, th so this was an idea that I was thinking about when they first teased or hinted at that they were going to go back to the Kachina. I was like, you know, you could actually make this work. Yeah. But still <sighs> become part of the set. I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of these jerseys are hitting or missing, rather. Oh, cohesion? 
Cohesion. Oh, yes. A three jersey set that just works and a makes novel sense. Novel concept. No, but anyway, so I had this idea and I actually found a concept on this Puck Marks Twitter um, where they basically. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty close to the idea that I had in my head. You, know, you can see. Yeah, it up see, here. like this, this makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Bring I'll back like this the, one better. Bring back the Gacchino logo. Keep the colors of the current set. Yeah. So you got the black, the sand, and the brick red. Yeah. You could you can do black because yes, it's part of their their color scheme. So I'm it not I'm not yeah. mad about the black. I think brick would look cool with this as well. Mm-hmm. But the biggest thing about this is, and whatever, the shoulder, the shoulders or whatever. If, if you're gonna do a shoulder, I guess, just put the current coyote head on there to you tie it back. You could. Because that's kind of what they did. Because if it's the same colors, the then it's fine. Right. right. But the biggest thing is, you don't have to do the full coyote body from the original jersey. Just yeah. do the head one, like they, <laughs> right. like they did from that Desert Scape logo jersey. Right, right, that jersey, jersey. That sucked, but the head by itself is good because the current jerseys are just a coyote head they are so this makes sense it's just a three-piece thing like, this is a good concept i love this concept and uh, this exactly is good stuff right here this is exactly what i was envisioning when i first thought of like how do you fix this this is exactly how you fix it yeah i'm glad somebody else thought of it exactly Props to this person i'm glad we don't have to fucking just be salty fucks this whole episode so pug marks twitter thank you yeah uh, whoever the actual artist was Reach out to us. I'll tag you or something. We'll, yeah, we'll give fine. you some theoretical dollars or something. Yeah, I wish we had money. Uh, and the other thing. What else don't we like well, about it? What else, well, my suggestion yes. was what if we took the meta jersey oh, and yeah. had that as the third jersey? So like the, the Coyote Logos jersey where he's got the brick with the, the crescent moon in purple as the logo. And then you have the stripes on the sleeves, like what he's wearing. Right. That would be clever. How has nobody done that? I don't even, I, I don't think I've ever seen a concept of it online. If there me is, either. change my mind. Prove me wrong. Prove us wrong. I want to see it. There's a lot of shit that happens constantly. We can't keep up with all of it, obviously. But I would, lo- I I would love see to see it that. I, I think that. I think that'd be fine. But at least I, if it didn't before, I got on it. He's on top I of it. I did it first. You saw it here. There's brilliant ideas happening. Just all the time. All the time. All the time. So that brings us to the final grade. The final grade of our grading system. This one, I'm going to have to give two pairs of oversized hobby bull and pants. Sounds good to me. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good to me. All right, what do we got next? All right, here we go. This is going to be the one that makes all of our fans hate us. They already hate us. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. What you know, our, you know our most viewed video right now is last year's reaction to all the Adidas jerseys. It's just us saying they all suck. <laughs> they do suck. <laughs> so, like, I heard over the weekend that, like, people's dinghies got tickly over something that leaked. Oh, something leaked all right. Something leaked all right. Yep. So what was our reaction to it? Spoiler alert, it was this sucks. So what is it? The Mighty Ducks. Oh, the Mighty Fucks. Well, I I should say the Ducks are mighty again. Anyway, the Ducks are back, and this year is their 25th anniversary. Yeah, so you know those millennials are screaming. I remember Emilio Estevez in the movie. I remember the movie. We reviewed D2. We did. Okay. So we totally have seen it. We're well-versed. Anyway, they're bringing back the Disney era duck goalie mask. Uh, And it actually wasn't gone that long. Uh, One year. Yeah. So I don't think we've been starving for this logo. (laughs) You know, like I get the coyotes. Like they only wore that as... A third or a pregame warm-up jersey over they, the past couple. Yeah, of they had like a, a couple special occasions, like those couple they had years special nights when the Kings wore their yellow and the four yeah. and blue throwbacks and shit right, like that. Right. That's what Phoenix did. This this team actually, the Ducks had that orange throwback. Yeah. From 2015 to 2017, so not long, but long enough to be like, oh, it was. It was that, a good third. Isn't it on the shoulder patch too? It's been on the shoulder patch for a long time. Oh, you're right. So, 
Yeah, see, it hasn't really gone away. No. And in 25 years, it's not like it's been gone. How much longer have the Whalers been gone? Oh, geez. Yeah. Since it's like 99. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we haven't seen them. Yeah. No, they might come back this year. That's a, a strong rumor, though. A strong rumor? A strong Huge rumor. Huge if true. Huge. 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 Huge if true. <laughs> Um, so we, uh, I guess the pros of this one we got the logo is accurate yes it is nostalgic yeah it seems to be the trend here yeah cause millennials love that shit mm-hmm. because guess what they went they got tricked into going to college they're in super debt okay anyway so <laughs> What they should have done was just make the logo a Dunkin' Yo-Yo. Mm. Or the N64 logo. Ooh, yeah. Or uh, how about a Skip It? We got that. Let's actually talk about the pros. So, yes, we, Nostalgia, we have the Mighty Duck, the logo's accurate it's for most of it. They got the colors back. Uh, oh, yeah. You're right. They do have the colors so back. They have, so they got the stripes back you know those diagonals going the opposite way of the blues jersey clown one if you look at this jersey from the bottom like the bottom of the tail stripe and then move up and then you end at the silver stripe it's a good jersey yeah but why because they got eggplant with the green shoulders and then the stripes so that's that's they just added shoulders to the one where y'all like, right? No, it's black in the middle. What? What are you talking about? That's black. Enhance the image. Oh. Yeah, you see. Are you fucking serious? This- <laughs> that's a bunch of ass. <laughs> This is bullshit. I thought that was going to be is an eggplant jersey, so I was like, okay no. with it. Right, like, I whatever, was like, okay. The shoulders or whatever, but if this, if this was an eggplant jersey with the shoulders, fine. It would be okay. It would be okay as fuck. It would be okay. It would be just so I. <laughs> but because it's black. And yeah, that ruins it for me. I and just, it has I the current. Down. It has the current duck D logo. It has the current D on the on the shoulders. shoulders in its regular colors. Regular colors. The cross sticks are orange. So they changed the sticks. On. There's seven colors on this fucking jersey. What the fuck is this? So instead of a what the fuck is going on one to one recreation of the original. Or a attempt at making something more cohesive, yet falling a little bit short, like the 2015 to 17 orange version. They just decided, fuck it, let's put them all together. This is a bunch of ass. It's not. It's not good. They have a they have a foot in the past and a foot in now, and they're. Both of those feet are in shitty piles of ass. I just I just don't know why. My biggest problem is the black on the eggplant. Like why that, that be black? It doesn't contrast at all. This jersey, along with the shoulders too, it's just heavy. It reminds me a lot of, of those heavy San Jose. The San Jose they got yeah. rid of all their stripes and numerals everywhere. Right now, now they got nothing. Like they, right. that's the most extreme. They went, they went from fucking Hulk ass looking jerseys now they wear pjs yeah you know, they got nothing they got nothing they, they didn't no find, tail stripes no shoulders they, they just went too much they didn't find the happy medium and it looks like anaheim did the same thing when designing a third jersey yeah, how do you i don't know black why has it got to be black there's another black third jersey another black third jersey i don't want to see we're every three for black. three on black the 90s are back jersey. have we done have we have you reviewed a jersey yet that isn't black? Nope. Well, fuck. But the easiest way to fix all of that and still have the nostalgia factor, because you really don't need to fucking one-to-one recreate it to have the nostalgia factor. You don't. This is how you do it. You do exactly, pretty much exactly what this guy, uh, Brendan Anderson, did. He submitted it to Aesthetics. 
Here's here's what it looks like. Not the top one, just this one. There you I don't, go. There's a third. I don't see, and that's cohesive as fuck. Yeah. That works so well. It has the nostalgia factor going for it. It's a cohesive set. It's orange, so it's not black like their fucking home jersey already is. Their home jersey's already black. Their home jersey's already black. It's already black. So you want two blacks, or do you want an orange jersey that's cool? I'm gonna pick orange jersey. That's cool. I'm going with orange jersey. So that sounds like a logical idea. Very good then. Good. The final grade. Final grades. What are you giving it? Final grade. Uh, I give it one Timu out of a whole salami. Sounds good to me. <laughs> sounds good. So there's no uh, way that we have another black are back. There, There's no way we have another black jersey to review, right? No, dude, we're done with black jerseys. Okay. So let's see what color we get to play with here. The next team is oh never mind, it's black. <laughs> Balls and butts, okay? So, so who could it possibly be? <laughs> Do we need this? Did anybody ask for this? What team is it? What team is it's it? It's not the Whalers. Oh, dude, I forgot about this team. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget this is one of the teams in the thing. <laughs> oh, so Carolina. Carolina. Hurricanes. All right, let's just preface all of this by they suck. You know, it's just they, there's not interesting things happening. Carolina sucks. What do you yeah. I'm not excited about anything they ever do. We needed a new third jersey for Carolina because they had one from 2008 to 2017. Shit. Hmm? They did? <laughs> yep. Oh. I forgot they were a team, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> They're not exciting. Anyway, um, it fixes the problem that uh, everybody knew. Everybody knew about this problem of the logo on this jersey. There's right? a glaring problem with the uh, the original third jersey, <laughs> right, from 2008. Right, and I feel like it had to do with how they got the actual nickname wrong with the logo. Like they weren't the Hurricanes; they were the Tropical Storms. They were the Tropical Storms, technically. They fucked up. Good job, guys. You don't even know how to name your fucking team right. Well, it doesn't help that their nickname sucks. No one likes Hurricanes, Who right? Who likes Hurricanes? Right. right. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about it. What teams are named after natural disasters? We got the Hurricanes and we got the Avalanche, correct? And... Uh, lightning, kind of. And the Panthers. That's... <laughs> 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 they're kind of bad too. <laughs> I don't care if they're bad. Dude, they're I'm natural. Talking about natural disasters. <laughs> Panthers suck. <laughs> they suck. Anyway, uh, uh, nobody nobody likes hurricanes. No, they displace uh, fucking a lot of people every summer. Every summer, it's like clockwork. It's like anyway, let's talk about the jersey again. They fixed the problem. They named their team right this time. They're their okay, hurricanes. Okay, so we got two warning flags. Two right? warning flags. Which means hurricane. And look at how fucking tall this logo is. Dude, it's... Uh, this stick is like hitting the guy in the chin. You know, it's like it's coming out of the The logo jersey. is uh, a high uh, stick. Uh, <laughs> it's coming out and hitting him in the fucking face. But wait, but wait, Doug. Oh, God. Get this. No. No, dude. I don't, want to, no, I don't no, want no. No. I already know what this is. You know, this is this, this is, is gonna be a thing that I This hate. is huge. And it is huge true. if true. No, no, it is true. Huge if true. <laughs> the negative space wall. between the flags no. is the state outline. Nope. There's no way. Did you look at it? It is, that is so not enough for me. No, but look how good it is. <laughs> yeah, that's about as good as putting a V in a Spartan helmet. I love Zima. Mm. I can hear the salt already. Anyway. Flowing in the comments. And, and then let's get me triggered. <laughs> that's not North Carolina, that's bullshit. It's not intentional enough for me, Wayne. It's not. 
Let's talk about the pros. The pros, okay, the pros is that, do we have to do pros? The pros is that the logo means hurricane. I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that yeah, it's right. Uh, right. It's officially right uh, now. I know. I mean, it just leads to a very tall logo. Like and the I, ratio is so big. I guess they can do black because it's in their color it's palette. It's in their color palette. So they have the red home, the white away. So black's fine. It's just like it's just a lot. All these jerseys have been black so far, and it's just so lame. <laughs> so lame, man. All right, that's 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 about all I can say. That's too many pros for this jersey. Let's talk about the cons. Cons. We've already talked about how tall the logo is. It's very tall. The very forced negative space state line thing, which I would have never known. If you didn't say anything, because, because it's guess not. what? It's not intentional enough. It's not the focal point of this logo. Mm -hmm. The focal point is like the top flag. Why does the H work for the Whalers? Why does the H work for the Whalers? Because because there actually is an H in the negative space. Right, and it's it's the center. It's the focal point of the damn logo. It's intentional. It's the focal and it's point. It's very intentional. And you think about just how that W is rendered with the flat bases. Right. You have the in negative space there. You have the flat part. That's something that, that you're, that not, you're not helps. You're not used to. You're just like, oh, I guess it's just like a stylized W. But then you think about it a little bit more, and you're like, oh, oh. this is so good. So yeah, that's when negative space is used appropriately mm -hmm. because the fact that this logo you have you got a lot of stuff going on it's almost an illustration yeah it just looks yeah. like a cartoon on it's because you have you have these rips in the flag and you have two of them and that's attached to a hockey stick there's just there's a lot of things going on here it's like what do you want your eye to focus on yeah. And for me, it focuses on the top flag's middle black square. This That's makes, what I look at. This makes me think more of, like, pirates and shit. Like, do you, have you, do you ever see, like, merchandise, like the Buccaneers, the football team from the 90s? Yeah. Like, it was all pirate and everything, like the tattered flag and shit. Like, that's okay, what I yeah. think more about that because of how this thing is rendered than the actual hurricane flag or yeah. a professional hockey team. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that's just what I think of. It's just because there's... Storm Gray shoulders! Storm Gray, whatever Storm Gray means, I guess it's the same as Gold Knight Black. Right. Whatever that means. Whatever that dark-ass color is, it's not black. Yep. So you got, you got these shoulders that are a little different from the rest of the black. So it's... Storm gray. It's storm gray, and then you have... With... Monochromatic logos on each shoulder. Uh, there's two of them, and there's a new one. There's a new one. It's Great. It's not actually the state flag. It's, I don't... It's just a flag. Maybe it's got an NC in it. I don't... Fuck, I don't know what the hell it is. If it is... If if someone knows what it is and we're just being really stupid, that's fine, because I don't care. That's how much I don't care about Carolina. I don't. Oh, yeah. Change my mind. Make them interesting for me. You know why? Because they suck. You're right. They're not Hartford. Can we talk about how to fix this? Yeah, um... You know how to fix it. Make it the Hartford Whalers. Yeah, that's pretty much how you fix it. Yeah. That's what I say all the time. Final grade. Final grade. I'm going to give it five Whalers out of just... Just fucking bring them back. Just bring them back. Just bring them back. Carolina sucks. Nobody likes Carolina. I'm, they don't even have fans. I don't see anybody show up. I, no. Who shows up? Nobody's showing up. I don't fucking know. I don't remember, care. Remember last year? Remember, remember that dumpster fire? Did you watch any of those games? No. I only watch two every year. Yeah, I only watch two every year. I'm just like, oh yeah, Carolina, they're a team. Oh yeah. 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 I, I don't know what to tell you about them. 
All I know is they're not hard fruits, so let's drink till our hearts stop, I guess. Oh yeah, all right. Welcome back to the 90s. 